Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy, and this is Season 2, Episodes 9 and 10 of Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. It is a deep dive into the Entertainment District, I think. At least that's what it's, that's the arc we're in, so that's gonna be fun. I like entertainment. I'm an entertainer myself. That's right. I have spent my life attempting to make people laugh, and now I react to other people's entertainment on YouTube. And I'm cool with that. that I, that's a joke. I'm a professional actor. I'm in a musical right now in Toronto. If you want to come see Charlie and the Chocolate Factory at YPT, you can watch me play an old Russian man, which is why I am bald. Anyway, uh, this is going to be fun. So let's dive in. Uh... Now, if you want the full agreement, I'm so bad at intros when I record before like noon. I'm so tired. I'm in tech. You want to know the real reason? You want to know what's up? Let's get real. Only the people that watch Demon Slayer get to know what's up. All those One Piece fans, pff, they don't know. Um, I'm in tech for a show. And so I'm literally like waking up, recording, and then I have to run out the door and go do the show two times today. Uh, I'm very tired, but I'm going to keep going because I don't want to lose my schedule on this channel. I'm trying to crush it. I'm trying to keep it going, and I'm going to, even though I'm driving myself into the ground. Full length reactions on patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. Help my mental health. Go buy it. Or don't. I'm so kidding. I'm so kidding. Let's dive in. <laughs> I am a god. Okay. Is this guy fucking Anil? The dogs are cuter. And suck up to me with every fiber of your being. Wow. We lost Ren Goku and we got this motherfucker? <laughs> what are you the god of? Specifically. I like Inosuke's confidence here. Zenitsu, you don't get to complain about people being cringy. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Rad. Alright, here we go. I don't like the sound Hashira very much. Rengoku was so much cooler than him. I feel like this show's about to get real weird. I don't know why, but... Also, his backstory? Sad. I get that. But you still don't have to be, like, weird about it, dude. <laughs> Don't get out of the carriage. <laughs> Just the fuck immediately. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a big old culture shock for Nosuke. A town of the night. <laughs> this sound Hashira is already in over his head. Oh no, you brought the chaos triplets. What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> we have candy? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, that's enough skin. Guys, what are we doing? Interesting. The like, way in which Demon Slayer headquarters are sprinkled throughout Japan in the show is so fascinating. Like, who's managing all of this? What? Guys, what are we doing? So you so stay in the show. The show would be so much better without Zenitsu. 
This might be controversial. I don't think that we should beat up children for being confused about polyamory. It's not a sentence I expected to say today, but there it is. This show's getting so weirdly horny and sexist, and I don't know why. <laughs> This is his plan? <laughs> wow, that is a makeup job. The other Zenitsu is coming out. And Inosuke's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, you're a stud. I'm guessing she's Oiran. Zenitsu, brother. Bro, you gotta chill the fuck out, my dude. What is happening? Inoko employed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's better for a girl to be plump and meaty, right? Oh boy! This arc's gonna get weird. Also, they don't have their swords with them, so even if they meet the demon... I don't know what's going on, you guys. Oh. Is Zenitsu a talented musician? Oh shit! Okay, Zenitsu, I was not familiar with your game. Oh my god, Zenitsu, why did you not tell me that you were a musician? You can fuck so many women now. That's all you need. That's awful, but it is so true. Until you're like 25. After that, it's less effective, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, if you can play the shamisan, the guitar, anything where your fingers really work at it. So you like so, Maybe don't make that face while you're playing the instrument, but you know, other than that, this is gonna help you with the ladies. Zenitsu, it really is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm gonna become the number one. <laughs> oh man. Damn. Isn't she rather strong and also a boy? Did they not notice that when they washed her makeup off? The Dragon Balls! We can summon Shenron! Sister? Sister? I guess that's probably a believable enough story, right? あしぬけ。これは鬼にとってかなり都合がいい。勇格から逃亡したのだと思われるだけ。に気はおそらく偽装だ。Okay. 
Let's go in a soke, you little. Cheese kanako ne. Honestly, I'm Inosuke is doing a much better job at this than I thought he was going to. Like, he's keeping it together. <laughs> oh, this is the demon, right? From the opening theme. You need to stop watching opening themes. They spoil it. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Um, interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I think that there's, uh, again, what this show, it's so weird. It's, 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 there's so much good shit, right? Like, I think that this, the author of the original manga has a real keen sense narratively for how to express real world horrors through demons right? You know, like the, the world of courtesanship or prostitution or whatever you want to call it is rife with taking advantage of women. It just is. And, and, and men, you know, to, to, a, to some extent as well, but, but primarily women historically and in, even in the modern context. And the way in which this episode tackles the horror of that, I think is really effective. At the same time, the show also wants to sexualize women in a way that feels voyeuristic. And I think that it hurts what the show is trying to do with that really strong thematic storytelling about the horrors that women face by then having the characters that we're following be... Tandra and Inosuke are not part of this, but being these two men who do not respect women in a way that is honest and fair, right? In Zenitsu, who admittedly is just young and immature about it. And then in the Hashira, who is um, just kind of a creep, you know what I mean? Like physically inappropriate with young girls, stuff like that. And also just the way in which this show you know, when we're seeing the three wives, what is lit on them primarily is their breasts, right? We don't really get to see their faces, but we, it's like big boobs, low cut cleavage. We need to make sure that in that framed shot, the, your eye is drawn to that because it's the center of the frame and it's the thing that is lit the best. And, and so it's just, it's so fascinating that this show, the trappings of like the shonen manga genre that make it want to be like titillating for teenage boys is so at odds with the thematic richness of exploring sort of the seedy undercurrent of the courtesan lifestyle. It's something that like I, I thought Blue Eyed Samurai did so well earlier this year um, in the, the there's a courtesan kind of episode that dives into a similar topic. Um, but because Mizu was a woman and because of the way in which that show is exploring the cultural differences between men and women in Japan, uh, and the, the expectations placed upon them, it was able to fully explore the themes without kind of having this sexualization that kind of immaturely pulls at what the show's trying to accomplish. And, and so I, I do like, I, I think that Demon Slayer... It's so fascinating because I, I do enjoy the show. I think it's very fun. I think the animation is stunning. But I do think that this show <laughs> wants to be more adult than it is. And by trying to be for teenager-y kind of audience level, I, I it almost needed to like explore different themes. Because it gets in its own way a lot. Zenitsu gets in the show's way a lot. And... and, and it, you know, a lot of what Zenitsu is is just filler to pad time with jokes that some people might find funny. I don't think they're particularly strong. But but when the show's just telling the thematic storylines and getting into it, that last stuff with Inosuke getting to the room and what's going on with Makio and like that stuff is so strong, genuinely so strong. And, and I, I wish the whole show lived up to that. I mean, I'm, 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 this isn't me like being like, I'm done. This is no, I'm, I'm going to keep watching. I'm, I'm enjoying it. And I'm curious where this is going. But 
yeah, it's it's just it's it's a really this has been an interesting ride through Demon Slayer, as the show has some serious ups. Like Mugen Train was fucking incredible, right? Uh, I loved the first episode of season two. I, a lot of pieces of season one. The the spiders in the forest was great, but it it also has some like it's it's got some flaws. Yeah, let's get into the next episode. Let's do it. Anta ga kite kara da yo ne. Ittai nanin ga kono mise kara kieta no ka ne. I love this like black and white film noir opening. No blood, no nothing. I really want to know how the sound Hashira's swords work. Because I understand in Jujutsu Kaisen why Nanaimo Bar's able to wrap his sword. What are you? What uh, are you? Do, 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 do. Oh, that was a cool shot. That's fun. What? A young girl is crying. Can you okay, so he has like super hearing. Can you imagine the weird shit he's hearing for the first time being in a courtesan house? <laughs> Inosuke, can't you, like, beast breathe and feel what's going on? There we go. Oh. Oh, Inosuke, you gotta get your sword, my guy. It is daytime, so if he can, like, open the ceiling up to the attic... Well, your cover's fucking blown. And I... Wow. Okay. Okay. I really thought he was about to rip his kimono off. <laughs> Maybe don't yell at the girl, man. I don't know. Ooh. Is there a demon in each house? Hmm. And no one ever saw Zenitsu ever again. No one knows what happened to the young man. You don't have your swords, and she might be upper rank. My guy. Meanwhile, Tandra's just having the best fucking time. Just cleaning. I love that Inosuke and Zenitsu are in like little nightmares. And at this other house, being so good at his job is making Tanjiro the nightmare. She's like, I think I You don't need to do so much. Calm down. Little scorpion? Do a little yoga, Inosuke? Oh, before Tanja and the others, Andrew. Okay, okay, okay. 
あんたがいじめ殺したようなもんだろわらび姫ひどいことを言うわねおかみさん This is how the owner of the house died. 誰の稼ぎでこの店がこれだけ大きくなったと思ってんだバーバーああ、バカ The shit we do for money The shit we tolerate when money's involved もしかして人間じゃ Is she the same? <laughs> oh! So you could. I should go more than you did. Oh, fuck. So, how does she hide the tattoo on her eye? <laughs> Intr oh, they must be contact lenses or something, right? I love the tattoos on her face. That's a real. The cheek ones. That's. Great. Yeah. Ah, shit. Mizan Kibutsuji. Shirahodo Jitsuyokuno Aru Mono Igai. Ningen Nado Mita Dake Dewa Hotondo Chigai Ga Wakarana. Interesting. Yet. Humans will figure that shit out, Mizan. Give us a 50 years. 70 years. Maybe 100 years. We'll get there. What? ってきたばかりの子に辛く当たりすぎたねマニピュレティブファックだんなさん顔を上げておくれ私の方こそごめんなさいねああ、じゃあ、she's a good villain. うけみを取り上がった一般人じゃない。鬼殺隊なんだろう。みんな殺して食ってあげる。Zenitsu's been found. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, definitely think that was a stronger episode than the previous one. Uh, I, I, I do. I, I think that without kind of the jokey... The, the way we got into the... Entertainment district with the makeup and, and stuff was fine, and I I understand why we did it that way, and I, I get it. I do think this this episode did a much better job of uh, not allowing the sort of like zany Zenitsu comedy to get too in the way of the story that it was trying to tell, which I think the show sometimes struggles with. Uh, but I I thought this episode had a really good balance. I thought there was some good com comedic bits, but also like the horror and the tension of there being demons here. Uh, felt very real and, and present, and I, I think that the establishment of this villain um, is genuinely scary, right? I, I think that she is powerful in so many ways, which makes her more interesting, right? It's one thing to be powerful as a demon, to be like a physical threat, but the, the thing about the Oiran that's so, that goes beyond that is that she also has status, she also has control over her environment. She has people who will cater to her whims, partially out of fear, but also partially out of need, right? Like she is their financial backbone. And the the multiple layers of power that she holds within the context of the entertainment district means that it is going to be more difficult to defeat her. She is also playing at an intelligence advantage right now against our team. Partially because the sound Hashra is maybe not the brightest, uh, but like, she knows that Zenitsu is Demon Slayer Core, and he doesn't know that she knows that. And that is an incredible advantage to have in any conflict. 
So, you know, you've set up sort of this lopsided power balance between good and evil in this arc. I, I think there's some really interesting stories to be told here. I, truly. They're, yeah, it's cool stuff. I wonder where the wives are. I, I thought we, because I was like, oh my god, like freaking Inosuke is going to walk right into this scene where Makio is being tortured, but she's being held somewhere else. I, and I also like the joke of like Tandro being too good at this. Real funny. That was great. Like, see, that's the kind of comedy that just comes out of the characters and not out of being absurd and slapsticky. It's, it's, it's comedy that I think just is stronger for the show. It helps push the show forward. And yeah, I, I thought there was some really effective stuff here. I'm excited to get back to the fighting. I like when they have their swords in their hands. But for now, I if like there's more episodes like this one and less like the like if, if we go more with the vibe of episode 10 and less like nine, I, I think this arc could be really, really cool. But I have a feeling we'll flip-flop back and forth a little bit. Uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below because the algorithm got us hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess, is... Makio? I mean, she's tied up somewhere. That can't be fun. It could be fun, but I, I, in this context, I doubt it. Uh, if you want to follow me around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. As always, do something Nerdy Night. Bye. Thank you.